Hola, bienvenidos a Sefanaya Services, Easy Way to Learn Spanish, Español. Today we're continuing with our Spanish Basics video lessons. And this video was inspired by the question that a beautiful Hebrew Israelite princess made in the YouTube channel from the previous class titled Definite Articles, Spanish Basics Definite Articles. And Akutina Baya wanted to know what was the rules concerning when to use el o la. And this is very extensive subject. It's, it's, it's very extensive. But what I've done is put together a few rules and exceptions that will make this a little bit more easier to the guests. Now, every noun in Espanol has a specific article that denotes the gender of the word. There are definite and indefinite articles. And last week, we went over definite mm -hmm. articles, which mm -hmm. is el, sorry about that, el, which is a masculine singular, for example, a libro, and we use los when we're dealing with masculine uh, plural nouns. Los libros, for example, and we have la for feminine singular nouns, la carpeta, for example, and we have um, las feminine plural for plural nouns, las carpetas, for example. Now, everything, todo, todo, everything in Spanish is either male or female. Now, nouns describe person. La chica, a place, el hospital, a thing, el teléfono, an idea, la idea. Now let's go over some rules. Number one, when speaking about living beings, nouns that end in O are masculine. Por ejemplo, el perro, el niño. Two, when speaking about living beings, nouns that end in A are feminine. Por ejemplo, la perra, la niña. More examples. When speaking about living nouns that end in O, they are masculine. So we use el, el gato, el abuelo. And when speaking about living beings, nouns that end in A are feminine. For example, la gata, la abuela. Easy, right? Now, beware of the gender trap. As we see the examples of rules one and two, you can easily fall into the trap thinking that objects that are associated with male have to begin with using the article L. For example, a tie is usually worn by males, so you would think that this is called el corbata, right? But it's not so. In Spanish, you use the feminine article la with this word. So a tie is la corbata. And sometimes uh, you can think that objects that are associated with females have to begin with using the article la. For example, makeup. Makeup is usually associated with females, so you think this is called la maquillaje, right? But this is not so. In Spanish, you use the masculine article, el, with this word. So it would be el maquillaje, right? So beware of the gender trap. Now let's go on rule three and four. Three, 
when there is a group of mixed gender, no matter what ratio, ratio, ratio sorry, is of females to male or males to female, the group is always referred to as masculine. For example, un niño and tres niñas, so one boy and three girls, will be five kicks, for example, five kicks. Well, in Spanish, is cinco niños. We're using the masculine. And here, for example, we have four cats, male cats, and 126 female cats, right? Cuatro gatos más 126 gatas es igual a 130 gatos. Right. Cuatro, number four. Masculine nouns that end in consonants, non-vowel, have a corresponding feminine form that ends in A. Por ejemplo, el profesor, el profesor, la profesora, la profesora, el doctor, el doctor, la doctora, la doctora. Excelente. Now, number five, número cinco. Some nouns that refer to professions do not change the forms. The article specifies the gender. Por ejemplo, piloto is not piloto, pilota, no, es el piloto, the article specifies the gender, el piloto, la piloto. Muy bien. Chef, the same. El chef y la chef. Poeta, poeta, el poeta, la poeta. Excellent. Now, these are, number six and seven, are what is called exclusive endings. Now, some words are exclusively reserved for female articles and others for male. So, numero seis, number six, nouns that end in sion, sion, d-a-d or dad or t-u-d, tood, and U-M-B-R-E, umbre. So let's do that again. Sion, sion, dad, tood, and umbre will always require the feminine article. For example, la comprensión, comprehension. La comprensión. Right? In this case, this is a body lotion. La loción. La loción. We have happiness, for example. La felicidad, ending in D-A-D. -D. La felicidad. Muy bien. La virtud. T-U-D. T-U-D. La virtud. The virtue. La certidumbre. La certidumbre. Actually, I think this word is uh, apologized. Um, la certidumbre is uh, certainty. The certainty. It says the crowd. That is muchedumbre. I will, I will add a note on that. Apologize for that. So, la certidumbre is the certainty. The crowd, that says there in English, is muchedumbre. It's a similar word, but I'll, I'll take a note on that. Number seven. Number seven says, nouns that end in M-A, ma require a masculine article the problem el problema the mystery el enigma el alma the soul el alma 
right? I hope this is making sense to you. Um, the, let's go over some exceptions. Some nouns that end in A use the masculine article L. And some nouns that end in O use the feminine article LA. I know it's a bit tricky, but this is some exceptions. And there's more, but this is just a, a, a bite size. Is it to that? Yes. So let's go over some nouns that end in A that use the article, the masculine article L. The map, el mapa, el mapa, el planeta, el día, el mapa, el planeta, el día. Right? Oh, this actually just came to mind when dealing with the days of the week. Right? El lunes, el martes, Monday, Tuesday. El miércoles, Wednesday, right? It's like it's saying the Monday, the Tuesday, the Wednesday, right? We don't say this in English, but in Español sería el lunes, el martes, el miércoles, the Shabbat, el sábado, día de descanso, aleluya. Ahora, let's go over some nouns that end in O, that use the feminine article la. La foto, la moto, la radio. Muy bien. La foto, la moto, la radio. Excellent. You got this. I hope you enjoyed this lesson. Remember, learning a new language is a process. So be patient and enjoy the journey. If you want more information about Spanish classes, please go to the website www.sefanayaservices.es or send me an email. Don't forget to subscribe to check the Instagram and also the Facebook and leave a comment on the YouTube channel. And here are your service. I want to also give a special thanks to Only Set Apart for this amazing artwork. You can see more work of Only Set Apart in Twitter, and Instagram, Facebook and YouTube. Don't forget to check it out and have a good day. Ya la bendiga. Bye for now.